Surprise, surprise. Ain't that what they say? <laughs> now, this ain't no surprise to nobody. Eagles and Cowboy fans voted most annoying by NFL players. The most annoying. See, not most loud, not most getting hype. Annoying. And I was just looking at that on the Bleacher Report. But let's dig into this a little. We understand why the Cowboys, the Cowboys, been. this is what they've been doing for years. We can, Tony Roman, we can, they've been doing this for years. You know what I'm saying? But these guys, these guys, the Beagles, <laughs> they got one Super Bowl. One. One Super Bowl. Let's count this again. One Super Bowl. Now, you can go years back, you know, McNabb, and, you know, they, they've had different players. They've, you know, Terrell Owens, they've, they've had different players. They run in their mouth the most. This little error that they got, this little error that they got, this is crazy. <laughs> and, you know, when a Niner looks at this, we laugh. We laugh. Because, you know, as I've been on TikTok, uh, uh, Facebook or Instagram, anywhere, all these cats say the same thing. Well, we blew the Niners out in the NFC Championship. That's all they talk about. Ask any Niner. Hell, ask any football person. They all say, well, you knocked the quarterback out, so you blew him out. But did you really blow him out? Because even when Purdy was out, even when Purdy was out, they handed Christian McCaffrey the ball. You had 11 people couldn't tackle one person. But, but we're not going to bring it up. We're not going to bring it up. What we're going to bring up now is the most annoying fans. We own the Cowboys. You see that, Philly? Philly fans, let me help you out because you're going to have something to say after this video, but let me help you out. We own the Cowboys. You know what we say we own the Cowboys? Did we beat them once? No, no. Did we beat them twice? No, no. Three times the charm. That's how you own somebody. See, because they might say, well, you, let's play at home, all right? Let's play them at home. Well, let's play at your home, all right? We'll play at our home. Well, let's give us one more chance. We'll give them one more chance. See, this is how you own somebody. Eagle fans, when you play somebody and the quarterback gets injured, we own you. We, you know what everybody wants to see? Everybody wants to see the Niners beat the crap out of these guys. We're not worried about these. <clears throat> As long as you got Dak Prescott over there, we're good. <laughs> These bums right here. <laughs> See, in their mind, they think, well, we play the Niners. As soon as we get the kickoff, we're going to push, push all the way to the goal line. <laughs> you better use every trick in the book. Because the game that everybody's seen, the game that we seen Monday night against Kansas City with no receivers, Guys were struggling. And, and they were running the ball on you. I wonder what the Niners, can the Niners run the ball? Let's, just, let's think about that. Can the Niners run the ball? I'm not sure. Because Kansas City was gashing you with the run. Niners maybe be able to run the ball, maybe not. I'm not knowing. I'm just saying. The Kansas City receivers was dropping passes. You're triple team, triple team in Kelsey, which he's a hundred years old, but you're triple team in Kelsey. Maybe, maybe you're going to triple team uh, Kittle. I don't know. Maybe you're going to triple team Kittle. I don't know. Maybe IU can't catch the ball. I don't know. Maybe Debo can't catch the ball. I don't know. Maybe Chris McKenzie. I don't know. But what I do know, everybody wants to see these, these guys right here. <laughs> they want their mouth completely shut. And see, the big dogs here. The big dogs. We're going to get it done. For the league, we're going to get it done. We don't really too worry about too much worry about the Cowboys. <laughs> see the old guy <laughs> with the America's team? That's why they did this picture. Look, he's old. He old in the America's team. They still uh, they still holding on to that lingo. I understand he old. But do you see this young guy? This young guy. See that? 
See, they got the young guy over here because they team. Come on now. You, you ain't been doing it. All of a sudden, all of a sudden, like I keep telling every Eagles fan, please go get Nick Foles. Get a picture of him. Get a picture of him. Put that on the stadium. And you don't just get a regular picture of Nick Foles. No, 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 no. You get a picture of him. You get a picture of him bending over. And so every Eagles fan, when you walk into that stadium, kiss his ass. <laughs> you kiss his ass because without him winning, without him catching lightning in a bottle for you to win that Super Bowl, it's no way in hell you would have won one. So as I end this video, because I got some holiday shopping to do, and I don't even celebrate the holidays. <laughs> so I got to go out there and get some of these deals. You know what I'm saying? So now... As I end this, it's coming, man. It's coming. Everybody, as you see, they tired of it, man. They tired of it. Seeing their coach after the, the Kansas City game, walking into the, to the, to the, to the, I guess he's walking back into the locker room, uh, talking mess to the fans. Take that, Kansas City fan. Take that. I'm like, Patrick Mahomes, because he threw the ball and his receiver dropped it? But you wasn't saying that in the Super Bowl. It's okay though, you feel me? It's it, it's for us. See the gauntlet that look, look, the gauntlet that they gotta run through. Okay. Check. You got past Kansas City. Check. Okay. Guess who you going guess who you got coming? The Nana Gang, baby. It's the Nana Gang, baby. You know what it is. It's the Nana Gang, baby. <laughs> bang, bang, Nana Gang. Bang, bang, not again. <laughs> Peace.